Well, we've been in business for 70 years. My dad started the business November 12th, 1948. And we've been in the same location for 70 years. Okay. My father is Abram Pock, and my name is uh, Biff Pock. And we plan on being here for another 70. We'll keep going till we get it right. We have lots and lots of rarities. We have everything from early country artists that, to right up to the present. <laughs> you, know, you name it, if we don't have it, we'll get it. We try to carry a little bit of everything. Pop, R&B, country, oldies, uh, classical, soundtracks, you, you name it, we carry it. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun, especially on a Saturday when kids all pile in to get records for their new turntable. Because the big thing now is to get a turntable when you turn 16. But also, kids younger than that also want turntables too. So they've rediscovered artists like uh, Fats Domino who just passed, and Chubby Checker, and Bobby Darin, and Elvis Presley. and yeah, it's, it's fascinating to watch and they say, Hey mom, I just discovered this great artist, Bobby Darin. And you see the parents smile because they they grew up with that artist, and you know, unfortunately, for a little while, we we had a, a separation of that. You know, all the everything with digital and on the computer. You know, you know, people don't know how to socialize. You know, talk back and forth, and because of records, it's it's brought that back, and it's it's nice to see. The big labels didn't want to you know invest any money in it. You know, they were pressing vinyl, but they didn't want to do any advertising because they were committed to the latest electronics. Because most of them are, are owned by electronic companies, and so their their job is to promote the latest technologies that their companies have. So there was no incentive, you know. And all of a sudden, and it also depended on the the, the mindset of the person who was in charge. If they were young and and just interested in making money. They were promoting the newest releases because they were on the latest technology. And then you get somebody who knows about music and all of a sudden all kinds of great things start coming back out and, and they know what they're talking about. And they you know, had a heart for music. It wasn't just a, a business model. It was, you know, they were promoting something that they, you know, they felt in their heart and not, not just a, you know, a bottom line. So 